Hello everyone, TechnoSleuth Craig Chamberlain here. Today we're going to talk about uh, Windows Startup Configuration Utilities. Now this series is going to go through a remake of the Hello World series. It's going to be much faster videos with much better video quality and we're going to focus specifically using the new video capturing device so that you can see the screen better. Now in the Windows Startup, if you go to the bottom right hand corner of your tray, you'll see these little icons down here. Now most of these are going to start up on your Windows Startup. Many of you may have tons of icons down here and we're going to try to get rid of some of those. Now some of them are important, other ones are not and uh, in order to change that Windows startup utility just click on start and click on run and then what you're gonna do is type in msconfig that's msconfig and press OK when you scroll up the system configuration utility will start up and you have the general tab system INI win INI boot INI uh, really the only one you're interested in right now is the startup tab and what you'll have in here is a whole bunch of items that are checked off now each and every one of these items are starting on your Windows startup and you do not want that to happen so what you want to do is is I hate to break this to you the best way to do it is to search through Google for each one of these devices if you scroll over and you look at the actual name of the command you can see what it is this one's job his initialization or job his init exe if you Google just that exe file you'll be able to find exactly what it is and most of the first two results will tell you whether it's a Windows system critical process or whether it can or cannot be disabled. Now, you're going to want to check back on this from time to time because uh, Adobe Re Reader loves to re-add itself into your startup. And uh, there's quite a few other ones that love to do that as well. And just remember, uh, as you go through them and you disable them, um, it's going to basically those items are no longer going to start on your Windows startup and your Windows will start up faster. And that's pretty much all there is to it. For uh, those of you who uh, have never done this before, you're going to be very surprised at how much it increases your actual Windows startup time. And uh, for those of you who have done it, it's always good to go back and check and make sure that there haven't been things added to it since you've used it last. And I appreciate you guys stopping by and I hope this helped you out. Thanks.